Hi, John here. In this video we're going to look at some common cooling tower designs. By the end of the video you will know about natural, mechanical, forced and induced draft towers. Cooling tower classifications. Cooling towers can be classified based on a number of design characteristics. These are wet or dry, mechanical draft or natural draft, induced draft, forced draft or natural draft, counterflow or crossflow, direct or indirect, also known as open or closed circuit. Let's have a look at each of these classifications in more detail. Wet or dry. A cooling tower that uses liquid as a cooling medium is a wet cooling tower. A cooling tower that uses air as a cooling medium is a dry cooling tower. This video focuses upon wet cooling towers as these are the more common types of cooling tower. Wet type cooling towers are easy to identify due to the white plumes of moisture rising from the towers. This moisture is actually evaporated water. Mechanical or natural draft. A cooling tower that uses a fan or multiple fans is a mechanical draft cooling tower. Cooling towers utilize axle or centrifugal fans. Axle fans are used for large, medium and small cooling towers. Centrifugal fans are used for medium and small sized cooling towers, but are less common than axle fans. A cooling tower that has no fans is a natural draft cooling tower. Natural draft cooling towers rely upon the stack effect in order to obtain movement of air through the tower. Air is heated by the cooling water and this causes its density to decrease. The warm air then rises above the cool air due to this density difference. In the tower, this means that the warm air moves upwards through the tower, whilst cooler air is drawn in at the base. The cycle is continuous and allows a large volume of air to be used to cool the cooling water. Typically, natural draft cooling towers are only used where the cooling demand is high and constant. Thermal power stations, for example, often use natural draft cooling towers. Induced, forced or natural draft. A cooling tower that has a fan installed before the heat exchanger is known as a forced draft cooling tower. A cooling tower that has a fan installed after the heat exchanger is known as an induced draft cooling tower. Cooling towers without any fans are natural draft cooling towers. Natural draft cooling towers are very large structures that are easy to identify. Counter or cross flow. Counterflow cooling towers force the cooling liquid in the opposite direction to the ambient air. For example, water will flow downwards due to gravity, whilst the fan forces air to flow upwards. The two mediums are thus flowing in opposite directions, 180 degrees apart. Crossflow cooling towers force one medium to flow perpendicularly to another. That is to say they flow 90 degrees apart relative to each other. For example, Air may flow perpendicularly across tubes containing cooling water. Direct and indirect. Direct and indirect cooling towers are also known as open circuit and closed circuit cooling towers respectively. If the cooling medium comes into direct contact with the process medium, the tower is a direct type cooling tower. If the cooling medium does not come into direct contact with the process medium, it is an indirect type cooling tower. For example, water being cooled by air is cooled directly. The water comes into direct contact with the air. But water in a pipe that is cooled by air is not cooled directly. The air cools the metal pipe and the metal pipe then absorbs more heat from the water which is then cooled by the air. Thus the water is cooled indirectly and this is an indirect type cooling tower. It's common to describe cooling towers based upon a mixture of their characteristics. For example, this cooling tower is a wet, induced draft, counter flow, open circuit cooling tower. The cooling tower we're looking at now is very similar, although it is a wet, induced draft, cross flow cooling tower. The only difference between these two towers is that the one on the left is a counter flow cooling tower and the one on the right is a cross-flow cooling tower. 
Our final example is a natural draft cooling tower. This particular tower is a wet, counterflow, open circuit cooling tower. This type of tower is also referred to as a hyperboloid tower. If you like this video and would like to see more engineering related tutorials, then check out some of the links in the video description area. And if you click on these links, you'll get a special discount price for all of our engineering video courses. If you want to support the channel, then please do like this video or share it on social media. It really does help us out. Thanks very much for your time.